What's up guys, Shorty here, back in with another video. This is my top 5 fire type Pokemon. So let's uh, start off with number 5. So number 5 is Quilava. Quilava is one of my favourite Pokemon because he is one of the star, well one of the middle starters and he is just a sick Pokemon overall. He's fast, he's agile, he's, the colour scheme is really good. I like the uh, flames coming from his back and his head, absolutely sick. And just watching him in the anime made me love him even more. Uh, in the Pokedex, this this is his uh, Pokedex entry. Quilava keeps its foes at bay with the intensity of its flames and gu gusts of s super heated air. This Pokemon applies its outstanding nimbleness to dodge attacks uh, even while scor scorching the foe with flames. So that's pretty good, you know. Uh, now for its base stat. Its base stat is 58 HP, 64 attack, 58 defense, 80 special attack, 65 special defense, and speed 80. So overall, he's fast, he's agile, and he has a little burn effect. So that's pretty cool. Now, it's his evolutions. So it starts with Cyndaquil, evolves from at level 14 to Quilava, and Quilava evolves to um, Typhlosion at level 36. Pretty simple, really. Um, now, on to number four, which is Talonflame. Talonflame, he's one of my favorites because he's a dual type which means he is both one type and another so in this case he's a fire type and a flying type so he can he can take up grass type pokemon electric pokemon ground type pokemon you name it and he will do the job for you so i recommend him in your team this is his uh, pokedex entry for sword and shield talonflame mainly preys upon other bird pokemon to intimidate opponents it ends embers it sends embers uh, spewing from gaps between its feathers talonflame dives towards prey at speed of up to 310 miles per hour and assaults them with powerful kicks giving the prey no chance to escape so he is a monster um here is his stats his stats his base stats is hp 78 attack 81 defense 71 special attack 74 special defense 69 and speed 126 so he is one of the fastest pokemon to use if it's a dual type well i think so anyway i could be wrong leave it down in the comments but yeah, I'd definitely use him 100% because he is fast, he can hit faster, and you'll get the attacks up straight away. And he'll leave it, leave you with burn. Also depends on uh, what ability he has as well. Um, now for his evolution line. It starts with Fletchling, which evolves at level 17, then Fletchinder to evolve at level 35 to Talonflame. So that's pretty cool. Now onto the third Pokemon, which is Magmortar. Magmortar is a massive tanky Pokemon. I think he is powerful because he is big. He has cannons for hands and he's all filled up with f uh, flame and uh, fire and things like that so he is a beast uh, attacking but he's very he's quite slow so you need to boost up that speed a bit um but yeah he is a tank this is his uh, pokemon sword and shield uh pokedex entry when magmortar inhales deeply uh, the fires burning in its belly intensifies rising in temperature to over 3600 degrees fahrenheit living in the crater of a volcano has caused this pokemon's body to resemble its environment it has an organ similar to a magma chamber so that means he is full of flames like you know like it said um now onto his stats so he has got hp 75 attack 95 defense 67 special attack 125 special defense 95 and speed 83 so he's still not the quickest because he's quite heavy built um his defense needs work on but a special attack is the main one there which he will get the job done for you now his evolution line is magma be, which can hatch from an egg uh, evolves at level 30 to magma and then magma to magmortar you need to attach uh, magnetize magma riser probably pronounced that wrong um to magma in a trade and then trade it with your mates and then you can get magmortar obviously you trade it back now on to number two which if you haven't got this pokemon in your lineup or in your teams what are you doing it is charizard charizard is one of my favorite fire type pokemon not only because he is ash's pokemon and i like ash it's also because of the journey he went on with Ash and the way he progressed from a normal Charmander to an aggressive Charmeleon to a very aggressive Charizard to then a calm Charizard that Ash relies on every single well every single time he needs him and I think he's brilliant he's got he's got a few forms he's got a Gigantamax uh, which is pretty cool never been done before um, and then obviously he's got Mega Evolutions which I won't get into uh, this is Pokedex entry for Sword and Shield it spits fire that is hot enough to melt boulders it may cause frost forced forest fires by blowing flames its wings can carry this pokemon close to an altitude of 4600 feet it blows out fire at a very high temperature so not only is he one of the best
best Pokemon to use and one of the best Pokemon in general, he can fly up to a very, very high altitude, which can be so good for certain moves like Brave Bird and Seismic Toss, moves like that, and it, it, it would be so good for the having him to an attack. Uh, this is his stats. You've got HP 78, attack 84, defense 78, special attack 109, special defense 85, and speed 100. So he, like I said, he's a boss, he's massive, he's tanky, and all those fire moves linked with anything else he has, which he can learn some flying moves as well. He, he'll dominate, personally. Now onto his evolution line, which as we all know, it's Charmander, Charmeleon, Charizard. So Charmander evolves at level 16, and then Charmeleon evolves at level 36 to Charizard. So pretty cool. Now for the time you have been waiting for, it is my number one fire type Pokemon. And if you haven't seen the video already, there's a little uh, a little card will be at the top. It is Vulpix. Vulpix is my all-time favourite Pokemon and my all-time favourite fire type Pokemon. Not only because he's cute and cuddly, it's just the fact that uh, watching him from the anime of how Brock took care of him and bred him into something that was pretty good and he, he created a bond and I think that's helped me create a bond with Vulpix myself. And he's just phenomenal. Like, he's got he's got another form, which is the ice type uh, Vulpix, uh, which I'll do a video about, don't you worry. Uh, these are his stats, HP 38, attack 41, defense 40, special attack 50, special defense 65, and speed 65. So it's quite fast, quite fast for a little guy. Now, this is the bit where you want to keep an eye on. So to evolve him for the evolution, you need a fire stone. Always a fire stone, of course. But with learning movesets, Volpix learns more movesets than Ninetales. So you want to level up Volpix as much as you can to learn certain moves and then evolve it to um, Ninetales when you can. Because Ninetales for me is a good Pokemon, he's the evolution of my favourite Pokemon. Um, but for learning movesets in, in general, I think it's best if you leave it as a Volpix for as long as possible and then evolve it to um, Ninetales. Anyway, that is my top 5 all time favourite. Uh, my all time five fire type Pokemon. Stumbled on my words, sorry. Uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe.